Mind if I warm my bones? Howdy viewers, sit down, warm your bones. This is another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, is trying to get through Red Dead Redemption 2 at 100%. And it requires a lot of intense play, but, but it's also a lot of fun. And I have gone through various locations and discovered some things. Also, I use a guidebook, so there is some help there. And I decided to give you some lockbox locations and a location of a site you have to see. Because some of these things are part of 100%. So let's get on with this video. The first location, it just looks like a pile of garbage by the side of the road. And if you investigate further, you'll find the lockbox right under the table here. And I passed it by. Yeah, trying to get lined up to inspect the lockbox. You can just, yeah, it's kind of a pain. So once you open it, there is some good, decent loot. There's some cigarettes, a large jewelry bag, and a coin purse. That is, I mean, the large jewelry bag is, um, how shall I say, well, here, I'll show you on the map here. It's near the Dakota River, across the Dakota River. And zooming out, it's south of Wallace Station. So if you get to this area, you can find this lockbox. And again, large jewelry bag is $75. Yeah, I um, already showed you. I'm actually going back to Strawberry or wherever on to the next location. This next lock box location is by this wall and it's hard yep I just activated inspect lockbox but it's really hard to find yeah there's the lockbox and then you try and open it and you hop on the wall yeah let's inspect this lockbox and this has some real neat stuff in it it's got three billfolds cash so you got 22 bucks, 22, and 22. So $66 in cash in this lockbox. Now I'm going to go to the next location. And you can see on the map where this is. I'm pointing it out. It's by Ringneck Creek above the house area and Iris Field below the M in Lemoyne. So let's get on to the next location. This next location isn't too far from the one I just showed, and it's a stump in the woods, and it has a lockbox hidden in it. And right here, you pull out the lockbox. This has actually the better, I'll show you. It's in the sea in Maddock Pond. And again, it's not too far from the other location that I showed you. And this has some really good stuff in it. Uh, you open up the lockbox, and it has canned vegetables. Yummy. You need that. Special horse reviver. And 22 bucks in cash. The real thing is the special horse reviver. And it gives you the recipe for it, and it helps revive your horse. It's a lot more powerful than the regular horse reviver, I guess. So, yeah. Again, these are three lockbox locations, and they should help you out. Now I'm going to show you a uh, scenic location. 
something which Arthur draws in his uh, sketchbook when he finds, and it's the location of the giant bones. Uh, the location of the giant bones are on Mount Shane, actually really quite near where I showed you the panorama map location. I'll put a link to that down in the video description and here we go I run around this corner you actually are pretty near the panorama map area but that's not where i'm going to i'm trying to get to the giant bones and that requires going down a level here just below the panorama map location and you run across to this area and you got to come around this bend and you find the giant bones or yeah or you don't okay this really stinks let me see check on the map yeah I'm exactly where I should be and it's right by the T here so I gotta run around a little bit more Okay, there we go. Giant remains, and you can see where my character is. Look, not there, not the waypoint. All the way over here, right by this area on the map, and there are the giant remains. Now, it's hard to locate, and you might not come across it, but Mount Shane or Shan, whatever it is, not only that, you can find a UFO location. There's all kinds of stuff on this mount. Now, this is not the end of the video. I'm going to show you something that happened while I was hunting for the uh, legendary ram. It's stuff that I hate and happens kind of often. This happens when I'm hunting large animals. I didn't get the legendary ram. I was in the area, and there's usually some good size elk or moose around this area. I was trying to hunt, and there it was, this beautiful bull elk. It was a three-star hide, and you can always sell those to the trapper for him to make clothing out of. And I'm sneaking up on it. I have a poison arrow. Oh, yeah, Rocky Mountain bull elk. Thing is 100% unaware of me, and yeah, I'll let this play out. I couldn't even throw a rope around it. 
and drag it. Yeah. A good three star elk dies on a river and floats down into the lake and sinks. God, I hate when that happens. Don't use poison arrows on large animals, okay? Use either a gun with a headshot or get them in the head with a improved arrow because there's no way you're ever going to get that corpse back if or carcass back if the animal flees and then dies. I've had this happen several times. So that's my word of advice. Oh, bear. A bear, a bear, a bear. Yeah, this is a poison arrow on a grizzly bear. And I end up basically shooting it again with another arrow. Yeah, don't use poison arrows on large animals. That's my advice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I'd, I'd just... You know? Oh! Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mister. I'm afraid I don't have anything to offer you except my gratitude. You're a good man. Thank you. That's all right. Just go find yourself a new change of clothes. Yeah.